Luxury in Vienna, staying at the Park Hyatt. Right in the heart of the Austrian capital, the Park Hyatt Vienna seamlessly blends opulence with historical charm. It's only been open for 10 years, but its history dates back over a hundred as it's housed in a stunning former bank building. Between the savory Austrian flavors with a contemporary twist at the bank brasserie and our quiet getaway in our elegant King Deluxe room, we were soaking in every minute of pampering. But our utmost favorite time was spent in the tranquil Arani Spa pool located in the old bank vault. Join us as we spend two nights enjoying what the Park Hyatt Vienna has to offer, starting with a room tour. Welcome to the Park Hyatt Vienna. This is one of the most luxurious hotels in the city and it's located right in the heart of it. We're gonna be spending the next two nights here and we wanted to take you guys along an all-encompassing hotel tour from the room to the dining to the pool. But first, we wanted to start off with the room tour of our King Deluxe room. Coming through these well-designed French doors, we're invited into the bedroom, which is so beautifully designed. I absolutely love the fact that we have this chaise lounger right in the middle of the room. But on my left, I noticed this and I thought it was just a wardrobe, but instead, it's our coffee bar and mini bar. I was so intrigued and everything is here from our glassware, our cups and saucers, our Illy coffee machine, kettle, coffees and teas, as well as the mini bar underneath. We pass by this little seating area and right front and center is this lovely and comfortable king size bed. But my favorite part is the headboard because built into it is the entire control panel where you can control the lighting and curtains. There are also USB plugs on both sides of the bed. I know it's kind of silly, but I always appreciate it when the hotels already provide the water right at the night table, because every single time I tuck myself into bed, I realize how thirsty I am. It's always these little things that you realize that make a luxury hotel luxury. Facing the window to the courtyard is our work desk. And I just realized that the entire desk is covered with this nice texture that acts like a desk pad. And on this side are the ports for all of our outlets. And it's nicely tucked away with a slow closed door. Pretty neat. You can also plug in an HDMI cord if you wanted to watch some stuff on the flat screen TV, which is right over here. But now we're gonna move on to the bathroom. On my left is the large rainwater shower with a glass door. And on my right is the entryway to the toilet. It actually has its own separate enclave with a privacy door. I mean, you don't want anybody seeing your biz. And the second bathroom is actually over here and they tuck away the slippers in the pocket and they're nicely branded with Park Hyatt Vienna on the top. This massive area is so nice and definitely spot on for a Lauren Faber bathroom. We actually have our standalone tub on this side. And of course, a double vanity is stable for a luxury hotel. We have a stunning marble vanity, as well as these darling sinks that have like a textured stainless steel. We also have a screen here, I just noticed. So when the TV's playing in there, we can also play it over here. And with the end of the bathroom tour, it's time for me to freshen up as we've got dinner reservations in an hour at the bank. All dressed up for dinner. I'm so hungry. This girl, there's literally two minutes until dinner and she's already snacking on the chocolate. I can't help it. They're just so good. So right now we are here at the bank, not an actual bank. This is just the name of their restaurant here at the Park Hyatt. And I gotta say, their drinks menu is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Of course, they have a regular menu for classics like a Negroni or Cosmopolitan, but this it literally looks like a newspaper, but this is actually all of the in-house specials. It's so cool. Like it's called the Bank Times. And then here you have like ethanol production, gas deposits, you have like financial charts almost. It's such a cool touch. Ooh, we ordered some drinks. This one is the Cotton Content and Jason got the Gold Investment, which was our server's favorite. 
This one is so neat though, because if my drink is not sweet enough, I could just dip the cotton candy right into it. We also got some bread and it's so nice and warm. And it comes with a side of basil pesto and homemade salted butter. It literally smells like fresh pesto pasta. Like that's how good it smells. Bread in Europe is just a whole different level. Add on with this fresh pesto. Honestly, I don't even need dinner. Just give me more of this. They have a little treat for us. So instead of us ordering regularly from the menu, we actually decided that they could just pick what it is that we should eat. So we're having a really amazing three course dinner fully selected by the chef. And right here, we have three starters in front of us. It looks absolutely amazing. So the first thing we have is a pate de campagnol. Probably <laughs> butchered that say, essentially pate from France, pickled veggies and a little bit of mustard with sourdough bread. The second starter that we have is this beautiful bowl of beets on top of stretchy salad cheese, and as well as honeycomb. It's gonna be really interesting to see how the sweetness contrasts with the saltiness. And last but not least, we have this beautiful cured salmon trout with this really cool sort of structure of tapioca, as well as apple verjou right there at the base. Everything just looks so delicious. So our server actually surprised us with what he calls it a mousse bouche, but really it looks like a full course to me. So this is a focaccia bread. And what's special is what's on top. So on top, you have an oxtail ragu with Viennese escargot. Now, if there's anything to know about me is that I have this crazy, irrational fear of snails and slugs. So the fact that I am going to be trying snail for the first time in my life makes this a very special moment. All fears aside, delicious. It's so packed with flavor. And because it's a little bit darker, I thought it'd be really salty, but it's actually not. Our mains have arrived and we have one fish and one meat dish that they've prepared for us. The fish is a pike perch on a bed of black pegola, I believe. And it's like a pasta zocho with squid ink. And they have a crab broth, which looks so good for us to dip our fish in. And then the meat dish is a venison. It's on a bed of cranberry sauce and creamed cauliflower. For dessert, we decided to go a little bit lighter tonight and just share one. This is the mille feuille. And instead of a traditional French puff pastry, they actually make it with a Middle Eastern filo pastry. And underneath these layers of goodness, inside there's like vanilla cream with a raspberry sauce. And to complement it, we had to get some hot coffee. Ooh, it's gonna blend so well with this dessert. So we already have so many items on the table already. It looks absolutely amazing. That's a few things to know. It is kind of a semi-buffet. So you have a whole buffet area, which looks massive, which is also an open kitchen concept. So it's super cool. You can see all the chefs back there preparing all the food, but you can also order from your selection of egg dishes. And these are the ones you order right from your server and he or she will bring it right to you. And this is also where you order the drinks. For us, we also got a little mimosa to start off our morning. It's never too early for a little champagne. And of course, we have our coffees.
after breakfast, we decided to head upstairs just to rest our stomachs for a little bit before coming down to the pool, which is located right by the spa. Lauren literally could not wait. She's literally already in the water. I gotta catch up. Hurry up, get in here. So nice. The pool area is so nice and zen-like, especially with that eclipse in the background, which is so awe-inspiring. From the pool, you can also see the hair salon on one side and the gym on the other, which we'll have to check out later. If you wanted to relax even more in between your spa treatments at Arani Spa, you can relax in the separate lounging area as well as the complimentary steam room and sauna. This whole area, because it's underground, is what people like to call the vault. And that's because this entire building used to be a bank. This is where the vault used to be. Before dinner, we decided to come over to the gym to get a little workout in, to open up that appetite. And honestly, this gym is super nice. It has everything you need from cardio, weights, and of course, you have your towels and water right back there. Let's get this workout in. Once again, it was a delicious dinner and we got to try out some new things like the beef tartare, the halibut, and an Austrian specialty, the sour cream schmarrn. Honestly, this was just such a great way to end our time here at the Park Hyatt in Vienna. As we're checking out tomorrow, we cannot wait to stay here again.